present these earlier in the season. Uh, these are called crazy tunias, and these are a petunia plant collection that's absolutely gorgeous. These are great for spilling out of baskets and planters and window boxes. You can put them in the ground as well. Uh, more than um, a super long trailing petunia, I mean, they will trail a little bit, uh, but these are petunias that give you a mounding effect so you don't see that loose leggy look. These are also what we call self pinching so you don't have to go along and deadhead these all the time. You're always going to see a plethora of new blooms. So what you're going to get is a six piece set. This is your shipping sample right here. So they're nice big pots and ready to go. They're going to grow really, really quickly. These are an annual. So obviously these are going to get to their full size this summer season. So you're not going to have to wait to see the big bang. You're going to get it this year. So you're going to get three beautiful varieties um, and two of each one. So so you're getting the orange slice. I'm not sure which one's which, so I apologize. I'm just going to actually show um, the different ones. So this one is, these are the real blooms too. This is a purple one with a green trim on the leaves. And I believe that's the Kermit purple. Oh, there's a picture of it. There you go. And then we also have one. That is this gorgeous pink and white kind of a striped effect. And this one has kind of what we call a, a, a scalloped edge to it. This is called pink adelic. Isn't that gorgeous? Kind of like a bright pinwheel. And then you're also going to get the third one that you're going to get is also kind of a deep plum and green color. And this one is more of a striped effect on the green. So rather than having the green around the edges, as you saw in that uh, Ker that Kermit one, uh, this one is more of a, uh, a striped and we call it Blackberry Mojito. And that one also gives you a bright, vivid uh, pink and green or purpley pink and green effect. So these are different than the petunias that you're going to see at the local garden shop. I know there's petunias all over the place and they're popular because they're easy to grow and they're one of the most popular annuals. But often they do start to get scraggly looking. Uh, they end up with flowers only on the very end and you've got these long scraggly branches and or stems, I should say. And in this case, you've got this nice thick mound of greenery and lots of flowers. So let me bring in my friend Jim who is live from his home. Hey. Are you are you there down at the Greenbrier somewhere in West Virginia, Jim, right now? I'm actually down the road from QVC at a friend of mine's house in Westchester. Oh, okay, so I didn't know how far away you were, but it's nice to have you on Skype either way. Welcome to the show, Jim Monroe. How are you? I'm very good. I'm just really excited for the day. We've been working for so long to get to this first show, and here we are. And yeah. um, so many people are outside their homes gardening and, mm -hmm. and experiencing the creativity and the exercise and yep. the, you know, the sense of accomplishment that you get from gardening. And our company spent the last 10 years trying to make this easier for people and and make gardening less intimidating. So this is really a, a great day for us. Well, we're excited. The, we went through the whole lineup of the show. There's a lot of cool new things coming up, but this is a, a returning favorite that we showed earlier in the season. And I've, I've been trying to do not as well as you, but I've been trying to, to do a, a, a little uh, story about why these petunias are more special, Jim, than what we would find out there at retail. Yeah, the crazy tunias are are something that's really fantastic. They're the the colors and the flowers and the striping in the flowers is something from classic breeding that makes them so unique. And the fact that they're just they're not unruly petunias. They stay so compact and and grow so nice. And they're just also just easy. Mm -hmm. um, so many petunias are difficult um, and they get scraggly and they get me cut back in the summer. And yeah, this really doesn't happen with these genetics. Yeah, they're beautiful. And you were telling me that they're very heat tolerant, so I don't have to worry about uh, constantly watering them. I mean, it's, of course, they need to be watered, but these are a heat tolerant plant. And sometimes, you know, by the time it's the 4th of July, things are starting to get a little wilty looking in a, a lot of our gardens, right? Yeah, um, the crazy tunias have been um, in very successful in trials at the University of Georgia, um, some really hot, humid areas of the country, and people are just going to love them. They really are. So these are self-pinching and heat tolerant, and you were telling me um, they trail, so they're great for pots um, and really do well in any kind of climate around the country. So anybody would be successful with these, right? Absolutely, and, and the flowers are just so different and electric and just 
I can't even begin to tell people just how many people are going to come to their house and look at this petunia, these crazy petunias, and just say, man, I've never seen anything like that before. That's yeah. really what they do. So you get the, the one with the, the purple with the green edges. That's the, the Kermit. Correct. That's a Kermit purple. Kermit purple. And then pinkadelic is kind of like a pinwheel of, of white and bright fuchsia pink. Correct. I've got a, actually a plant here with me too. Yep. And then the third version is the, uh, the pur is it called purple mosaic? It's a black mojito. Black mojito. Blackberry mojito. That blackberry yeah. mojito. Sorry about that. So that one is. And it's such a unique flower. Um, just something that's, there's just never been anything like this in petunias. And so many people love petunias because they're just so, you know, they bring butterflies and, and hummingbirds into their, yeah. into their patio areas. Oh, and they provide so much color. And there's just never been anything like these. Aren't these gorgeous? And these are the real flowers. These are not fakes. They're absolutely gorgeous. And you're going to see this. Absolutely. This year, because these are, are an annual that are going to get to their full size the first season. So we're going to wrap up on this one, Jim. I want to remind everybody else that uh, these are a special sale price that's going up at the end of the day on our Petunia collection and 400 sets ordered at five payments of 742. Okay, if you are a butterfly fan, and who isn't, I know a lot of you have been concerned about stories in the news that uh, monarch butterflies are quickly disappearing from the planet. In the late 